it, it's like the game just bent me over and it's taking turns now. You know, it's just taking turns like, all right, I'm done. Who's next? Falcon's still bent over. Yeah, he's still bent over. All right, I'm, he's, I'm done now. Who's next? Oh, I'm next. Pick a number. Everybody gets a chance. Um, welcome back, everybody, to Sky Hill. I'm your host for the evening, the Birdman known as Falcon, and I got some good news in that we will be doing another run in Sky Hill because two things have happened since our first run. Number one, I felt we were kind of robbed here a little bit. We had a really bad run when it came to food. Just RNG in general was kind of a bit of a dick for that run, so it kind of hurt us quite a bit. And number two, the most important one, is the fact that the developer actually got in touch with me after the first and second episode. And he let me know how to unlock the super secret ending, so thanks a lot for that. But um, I now know the information needed to get us the super secret ending, which is actually really important, because when you think about it, the first run, we were going in blind. No idea how to unlock it. And the thing with this game is that the endings are actually really hidden quite well. So even if I got to the bottom of the building, I'd be like, well, how do I get the super secret ending? So at least now I know, which is actually really important. So without further ado, let's go into new game. Alrighty guys, so we're good to go here. Before we start off, let me just show you what I've done here. Um, I picked up Inspiration as our skill. This is a one-time use, it lets you basically upgrade any of your workbenches automatically at random. But it's a one-time use, so I just picked it up for the hell of it. We'll probably use this once we have leveled these up to like maybe two or three, and then we'll just take a wild dice roll here. And maybe it'll upgrade one of the important ones to max level. So we're going to hold off on that one. And the second thing you'll probably notice is the fact that I already have all the recordings here. I will be playing the rest of these as we get further into the floors because I want to show you the story for all the new viewers out there anyway. So I have already picked them up because I did a run off camera to kind of get more comfortable with the game again. So um, either way, it should be good. For now, let's go down here to start off with. We have a food area right off the bat, which is pretty good. So whenever I jump back up here, we need some food. We could probably come down here and buy some if we have any coins, which is actually really useful. So let's see. We have ourselves a stick to start off with. Let's equip that as our first weapon. Not really great, but it'll do. Override Apple. Not really something I want to see at the moment. We have our first enemy over here. Alrighty, buddy. Let's go for the old body sh Oh, good. <laughs> oh, my God. RNG in this game. I know it's 80% chance, so you still have a 20% chance of missing, but it's kind of like, come on, it's the first attack of the game. At least give me the first one, right? 3.9. So here at the moment, I could get really lucky and try to get for the kill, or we go for the automatic kill, but only at 50% chance. Let's go with this one. I missed. But it'll be worth it if I hit this time around. Not worth it at all. I should have gone for the hits over here. I'm very little bit upset about that, but that's fine. Oh, come on now. Come on. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> The salt's already building. I just barely started playing. I'm in the 98th floor and the salt's already going up. This game does a number on me, I gotta tell you. Okay. It's fine, though. Don't let it get to me. Ah, it's cool. We got a first aid kit already, so everything is forgotten. I'll accept it. Everything's cool. We got a brick. It's actually really good for the upgrades going forward, so I'm excited about that. Oh, you get the first attack, too. How about that? Mm, let's go with body. 3.4. Okay. 8.3 for the kill. Nah, we gotta go for the body still. 4.7. If this hits, we kill him. This would need two hits over there. So again, we'll gamble with 50. Yeah! Alright, good gamble. Got a level up already, good. We got some rice as well. Let's start off by... Actually, I'm gonna hold on to my leveling points until we get our first weapon. Usually, I build my character based on the first weapon. If it's a strength weapon, we go with a strength build. If it's a speed weapon, we go for a speed build, you know, etc, etc. So, we want to wait for our very first weapon here before we decide to use those points. I could actually increase accuracy meanwhile, though, because that's always kind of really useful anyway. Uh, let's go for body here for one. Body again. So, 7.5. Four. Now, with four... If we get really lucky, we could kill him here with a four. Eh, let's not risk it. Didn't kill him, but I'd rather not risk it. Let's go with the cheap shot here. There we go. We got some paper. Alrighty. Pretty good stuff to start off with. We're getting a lot of items that are going to be used to build stuff down the line, so I'm already I'm happy with that already. I would like a VIP club card, though, so we could jump up to the suite whenever we want to. Uh, gears, I don't have those, so let's go ahead and automatically repair. It's going to cost us 12 food, which is a lot, but we fixed it, so it's fine. Hey, VIP keycard. Perfect. Now we have a chance to get up here whenever we want to. We got some sugar. Empty. Nothing here. Another enemy. Mm, let's go with body again. Oh, I forgot to upgrade my accuracy. Can I do it now? No, I gotta be 
after a fight, huh? Okay. Go with the old bodies here. Critical hit, how about that? 5.8. Let's gamble a little bit. Mm, it's fine. If we hit the next one, it's still worth it. It's not worth it at all. At this point, we just keep going for it. <laughs> okay. It costs us one extra hit, but that's fine. On occasion, you do have to gamble. We got a coin already, which is good. We know there's food up top already, so that's great. Got some water. I'm not sure if I have any flour. Oh, come on, give me a medkit. That's fine. It's a small one. I'll take it. Photo fragment, number three. Um, something tend to believe that the series of murders were ritualistic in nature. Regardless, it is safe to assume the murderers or the murder. <clears throat> <coughs> Um, tend to believe that the series of murders were ritualistic in nature. Regardless, it is safe to assume the murderer suffers from a severe neurological disorder. In every registered case, the murder weapon was self-made, indicating the murderer is a skilled crafter. This also complicates the identification of the weapon itself. The press has already dubbed the killer the mechanic. So the murderer makes his own weapons, huh? Hmm. That's kind of uh, familiar, huh? Um, let's see, let's go ahead and level ourselves up with accuracy just a little bit. Meanwhile, we'll do like maybe two points for now. We'll hold on to the other two for one of our attack skills. Mm, let's also use the small medkit for now. We're getting a little bit hungry. Let's actually have the overripe apple. Hope for the best. Didn't hurt me. Good. Let's keep going down. Ah, another food vending machine. How about that? Empty. Empty. Enemy. Really surprised we haven't gotten, like, a single weapon so far. I mean, we have the stick, but it's not really a weapon, per se. I mean, I'll take a stiletto for now, at least. I mean, just something that gave me a little bit of an edge in combat. Or maybe a bat. Maybe we get really lucky and find a bat early on. That'd be pretty useful, too. 3.8. We can get the kill if we're lucky with this one, so let's go for it. Nice. All right. New level, and we got some garlic, too. Uh, six points, huh? Man, gotta find myself a weapon so I can start building. Oh, a large med kit! And a brick. Oh, you already? Oh, good. You jerk. He attacks me once in a critical hit, mind you, and then he just books it. Coin, wood. We might jump back to the um, VIP room and maybe see if we could build ourselves a weapon. Getting a bit hungry as well. Let's go with the body shots here. Oh, come on. Extra turn at least, bud. Come on. Don't miss the 84% chance to hit, dude. Oh, <laughs> twice! Twice! 3.6, down to a 4. Should we risk it? Let's go with the 54%. I mean, why am I so surprised? Why am I so surprised? Come on, just hit him already! Jesus! Empty. Nothing here? Come on. Got some cheese, got some fish. I'll take the fish, and that's about it, huh? Um, we're starving now, so we should... Can I make some food here? No. I'm going to take the damage and I'm going to jump up to the top floor and make some food. Because I don't want to just spend these items like this without actually cooking them. So let's go to VIP. We took four bits of damage. That's fine. That's fine still. And let's see. What can we make? No food just yet. But can we upgrade any things we can? We could do level bed two. And we could also do kitchen level two as well. Well, actually not just yet. We need electrical tape. Which we can't make without any glue. So no to the bed just yet. But we can make a level two kitchen. It's going to cost us my only stick. My only weapon. Is that worth it right now? I'm gonna say no. Or is it? No, I mean, the stick's giving us some damage, and we'd have to go back to bare fist. Can we make a weapon? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We could probably make a weapon. Of course, it also requires the stick. <laughs> but this is four to six, and this is gonna be two to three. Should we go for uh, a dexterity build? Can I make a pipe? Um, No, I can't make a pipe. Hmm... Can't make that hammer, can't make the hatchet. Stiletto would be nice, but it requires two steel pieces to make nails. Um, I think we're going to do a dexterity build. Dexterity is going to be for what? Chance to dodge. Uh, not really the best one. I prefer speed or maybe even strength, but... Um, uh, it'll give us a better weapon than the stick for now. Okay, let's make the the mop. <laughs> Just run, run around cleaning enemies. Okay. Now, we won't be able to make the kitchen now because we, again, used up the last bit of stick here, but that's fine. I guess we have to eat some of this food raw, unfortunately. Yeah, so let's go with... Uh, I'm going to save the cheese for some bread. Let's do garlic and sugar. 
And we'll also have the medkid. Oh, and let's go ahead and drop some points into dexterity. Like two for now. A bit more accuracy. And that'll do for now. Okay. Back down. 91. Let's go forward. At least we have like a, a weapon now. Generator don't have that. It's going to cost me 10 food and we didn't even fix it. And we lost the steel piece as well. And we fucked it up again, really? It worked finally. It cost us all of our food and quite a bit of HP, though. I'm not too happy about that. Here's a small med kit doing a small piece of wood. Another piece of paper. Overripe food, coffee nuts, and another rag. Mmm. Let's have the overripe banana. I'm gonna have to probably eat you raw, buddy. Well, let's do the orange first. Because I could always cook this up to a 22 hunger thing. Once we level up the VIP room for kitchen, which we still are missing that stick, though. I could use the Eureka ability, but I guess I'll hold off a bit longer. Alright, let's go downwards. Well, here we have the runner. But we also have a mop now, so let's see. 6 to 8 damage at the body for 80%. Let's go with that one. <laughs> Why do you do this to me, game? Oh, look, great! <laughs> Oh, I'm so angry right now. It's like... Oh, good. Now you give me this little... What is going on? I... Ooh. It's like the game just bent me over and it's taking turns now. You know? It's just taking turns. Like, alrighty, I'm done. Who's next? Falcon's still bent over. Yeah, he's still bent over. Alrighty, I'm, he's, I'm done now. Who's next? Oh, I'm next. Pick a number. Everybody gets a chance. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, I'm good now. I'm fine. I'm calm and collected. New message from Darling. I still love you. I'm waiting for you at, a, at our special place. Do you remember when we ran into each other on the 84th floor? The start of the little lineup... Oh, this, I mean, the start of this little message always reminds me of um, Silent Hill 2 as well. Anyway, let's see here. Got a stiletto, which is going to be speed 7. I prefer speed over dexterity, but I already invest in dexterity. Is the unfortunate part here. 3 to 7. 4 to 6. Yeah. Yeah, I've already invested in dexterity, so we're sticking with that one. Uh, let me use this small medkid. And we're about to start getting hungry pretty soon. Nothing here. Come on, give me some items. Booze, nothing here. Got a salad and a battery, huh? How about that? This will be your medical items. Um, I did mention food. We have two coins that we know for a fact if we go up. There's a vending machine right below our VIP room. Now, the problem is going to start getting um, hurt by hungriness really soon, so... It's a bit unfortunate. Because we can't upgrade to level 2 either just yet. I'm trying to save this cheese for the bread. Actually, we can't... Yeah, here it is. The cheese sandwich. Um, You know what? I guess we'll probably have... Oh, we can make coffee right now. Coffee with milk only. I'm going to have to have the salad and the rice for now. Okay. Okay, can you not run this time, please? Like, come on, for real. Got him once. Don't run away. I need some experience. Oh, extra turn, at least. 7.7. .7. Don't run away. He's there. Okay. Um, this should kill him. Thank God. Mutant blood. And some Brussels sprouts. Okay. Empty. You, I don't mind. You never run away, and you're really easy to bring down. Let's see. 6 to 8. 7.3. Can we get a one-hit kill with uh, this one? We can, actually. 60% um, chance. We might as well risk it, right? Yeah, we'll risk it. Mm, it's fine, it's fine. We could assume that this probably wouldn't have killed them. Now I'm just mad. <laughs> now I'm just mad. But we got a medkit, so I'm fine. I'm okay. Lock need a key. What? What the fuck? I have never seen a fight where two of these guys are in one single room, and this is so weird. I wasn't even... I didn't know this was a possibility. More importantly, I'm terrified. Because they could do a lot of damage to me right now. Okay, well... Wowee, I never knew this was a possibility. It's actually really weird. They attack you at the same time, too. Why can't I hurt them at the same time? Look at this! They're just tearing me off! Alright, one of them's down at least. 
That's so weird. I've never seen that ever. And I've been playing this game for a very long time. I have never seen two guys in one single room. The only time I've seen this kind of really close is when you kill the fat guy. And when you kill him, like, out of his belly comes out, like, this little weird baby thing. And that's the only time I've ever seen two enemies in a room. And even then, it's kind of like one after another. It's not like immediately at the same time. That is so weird. Oh, come on! 4.2? We got the least amount of damage we could do with that one. That's horseshit. Alright, he's dead. That's fine. I gotta level up at least. Got some items here. Got some pet food. Coins. We got some good stuff out of this one. I'm kind of glad I stayed behind, I guess. Let's use the medkit over here. And... Until we get a, a stick to make the kitchen, I guess we'll continue eating some small amount of food. Oh, we have the pet food for 20, which is actually pretty good. I'm gonna have that. The pet food, you can make it into a bigger meal, but it requires like level 3 or 4 kitchen if I'm right, so... Eh. Might as well just use it now. Alright, come on. This requires a wire. Come on! It worked. It cost me 14 hunger, but it worked. And with our new level here, let's go ahead and do... Accuracy, Dexterity. Okay. Another stiletto. How about that? Ooh, medkit and rags. I'll take it. Okay. Four, another coin. And here is the message. You're late again. If you want to apologize, I'm on the 78th floor. I won't wait long. Okay. Uh-huh. Nice. Oh, good. Just run off. That's fine. Some rice and a Coke. This might be the same guy who ran off. Uh, let's go with... Body, 7.7. 7. Ha ha ha! You coward! Alrighty. 8.3. Good. Mm. Dead. Now, we died in the 76th floor last time, so I think already we're making a lot... We're doing a lot better now this time around, I gotta say. Covering a lot more ground. We're not doing amazing in food again, but um, at least we're finding some mechas to keep us alive. We're about to start bleeding out again, so let's go ahead and have this cola for now, and... I do believe it's time we probably jump up and buy some food. I still can't make the upgraded kitchen, unfortunately, but um, I don't have to do. So let's buy some food here. How many coins do we have? We have five. That's good. Or should I just buy med items? You know what? I should just buy med items instead, right? I know I saw a medical vending machine down below. I just forgot which one it was. Let me see. Can I make any food here at the moment? No. And we can't make any upgrades to the kitchen until we get that goddamn stick over here. I think I'd just rather buy, like, uh, med items than food, really. So, how about... I'm gonna save you, save you a bit longer. Coffee beans is only two. Let's have the rice again. This is basically a, a pointless jump, when you think about it now. But whatever, let's just have the fish now too. It's kind of pointless to keep it until we cook it, because we can't even get a level two kitchen just yet. I know I could use Eureka, but I'm holding off on it a bit longer. So, I really would like to find out where that machine was with the med items. Let me try 89. There it is, 87. Perfect. So let's go ahead and just waste all of our money on... Oh, small one is good. That's 30. I'll take that one as well. Another small one, which is great. Bandage and small one. That's very good. I think it's just better to use the, the, your coins on this instead. Mm, let's jump up to 89. And then we jump back down to 83. Okay. I think it's definitely worth it. 6.9, 69, 8.1 for the kill. Let's go with the headshot here. Yeah! Empty. How you doing, buddy? You gonna run off again? <laughs> Might as well, since I keep missing all the time. Go for the body again. 8 damage. 11 for the kill, huh? There we go. Stick around, stick around. Oh no, no, I, I double clicked. I was going for the body. Got some metal. No, no stick yet to make that kitchen, huh? Oh, it's a trading guy. Got us a key. I was told if I actually reset my save here, like if I save and I load back in, every single time you do this, you actually get a different item for trade. So I think it's almost time for us to wrap it up. How about we do that? Let's see if we get like a good item. So he's offering me, or he wants chocolate, and he's he'll give me an antidote, which isn't too bad, but I have no chocolate. So I think it's about time we wrap it up for this episode. Anyway, we made it all the way down to room 80. I will come back next time around, and maybe next time he'll give us a different item for trade, which could be pretty useful for us. Because right now, I need a stick, man. I would exchange everything for a stick. 
so I can make that level 2 kitchen, which would be really helpful. But for now, I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.